Let the mga tao have been asking more and more. I think that's the most common DM I got. Where is Daniel Marsh? You know, uh, ang gusto ko lang, healing ko lang is sana safe siya. And sana he's in a good place. Physically, mentally, at um, ayos lahat. Well, apparently a lot of people think that we had a fight. We did have a fight. I had a fight with you, you just didn't know about it. I'm not thinking. I went from LA to the A on the run, you can tell where I stay. Yeah. Count all this paper, I chase no sleep, call me jet lag, baby. Yeah. Count all this paper, I chase no sleep, call me jet lag, baby. So before we start today's video and get into all the fun island beach type cinematics that you probably came here for, I want to make clear that there is quite some ambiguity in today's story, as you'll notice some gaps and holes in the plot with some differentiating timelines. Nevertheless, many stories lack certain details to keep things somewhat open to interpretation. However, if you want to understand more in depth the theme, the meaning behind all the chaos that we tend to gloss over in vlogs, that is what the podcast is for. It's where me, kasama yung mga kaibigan ko, pamilya ko, mga iba't ibang vlog characters can elaborate on our thoughts, emotions, and certain issues that we're dealing with. I for totally forgot about the uh my health and uh, some of my relationships. All in a very raw, unedited, and personal setting where we can communicate these issues that are not fit nor have enough time to be included into a vlog. You can do it while multitasking. Halimbawa, nagwawulis tingting, nagdadriving, kahit saan, kahit kailan. Download Spotify for full episodes of Superhuman, linked below. We're on our sixth week already. We've had a lot of cool guests, and if you want to understand today's video more and everything then download Spotify follow my podcast superhuman with Will Dasovich all right let's start today's video when you're in the creative process when you're in the zone nothing can stop you and you have to keep it going because inspiration is something um, parang it comes and go. Minsan nandyan, minsan wala. And when nandyan yung inspiration, kailangan gamitin. Kasi sa kahit anong sandali, mawala. This can be due to many different factors, and a lot of them are ones that are out of your control. And this can have a great impact on you and throw off your equilibrium. Kahit may maliit na bagay na ikinululungkot mo or something tragic like the sudden loss of a loved one, baka may nangyari sa pamilya mo, whatever it may be, it's a constant struggle to remain productive when you're battling emotions. This is a constant struggle for creators, for YouTubers, for anyone, is staying creative, being inspired uh, all the time. This is always really nice when we're together, buddy. It is, man. Oh my god. It's like the best times of my life. Yeah, I love it. Being out here in the islands with, with my best, best buddy. And having fun and enjoying it and experiencing yeah. the moment. And man, I mean, just doing these cinematics. Yung respeto ko kay Daniel Marsh has just gone up so much. Sobrang heat up to like just because B-roll is so difficult and you have to get so many shots. Uh, are you ready? Yep. Di ko lam kung paano. See Daniel Marshmallow. Come on, Daniel. Up. Oh. No, not the mga tao have been asking more and more. I think that's the most common DM I got. Where is Daniel Marsh? Anong ginagawa niya? And ang katotohanan lang is di ko alam. Hindi alam ng lahat ng mga tropa namin, natin, kahit na sino. Pero he's going through a drought ng inspiration. <laughs> And uh, mahirap talaga to create content, gumo 
want ng stories, videos, kung walang inspiration. If you feel sadness, if you feel love, if you feel happiness, if you feel adventure, and you really feel those emotions when you're on the site, where you're shooting. So that's the feeling right there. You strive to be better, and you'll get better. The thing about uh, Kameni Daniel, but I am an extrovert. So we get a lot of our energy sa mga ibang tao, sa paligid-ligid namin. What a day! What a wonderful day to die! And um, on top of that, you see Daniel, his content creation is highly influenced sa mga tao around him. Hello! I'm enjoying myself. I'm loving Japan. <laughs> so when he's around vloggers, when he's around creative people, um, nagvo vlog siya. Diba, when you went, you went that way, that way, up, and then down? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're gonna start. You know, that day when I was daily vlogging, I was hanging out with him a lot. And he's getting, you know, he could upload multiple videos in a week. It's a lot of fun. And it's Especially good to be with good it. friends. This is honestly my favorite squad. Daniel, Haley, and Jacko. It's like the dream team. Yeah, we're the vlog squad, baby. So we're gonna go out to eat. Because we're gutom, gutom, gutom na tayo sa chibug na. Pero, pag wala siyang kasama na, I guess, ibang vlogger, creators, nahirapan siya gumawa ng content and stuff. And um, the thing is, uh, quarantine, since lockdown started, at habang yung buong situation na to, um, wala siyang kasama na content creator in six months. And um, I think yan, um, isa sa mga pinaka malaking dahilan kung bakit hindi siya nakakapag upload. Pero, um, you know, ang, ang gusto ko lang, healing ko lang is sana safe siya. And sana he's in a good place at um, ayos lahat. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. So, yeah. This is gonna be a raw vlog. Yeah, it's gonna be a raw vlog. Daniel got hit. an issue with me and Daniel Marsh. How come Daniel's not in your video? Are you guys not friends? Are you in a he fight? Hates and this me. And that? He hates me. <laughs> well, apparently, a lot of people think that we had a fight, which isn't true. We did have a fight. I had a fight with you. You just didn't know about it. will. <laughs> Let's shoot. Okay. I've got a couple of ideas. Let's shoot. I got Let's the great go. idea. Let's do it. Come on. Ta da. So ito yung sekretong beach na sobrang napakaganda, kaso lang naman may damo damo na that washed up last night. Lumot? Lumot. So there's lumot or seaweed kung san san, pero it's okay. We could shoot around it. We have Daniel Marsh. He can make anything I'm look just beautiful. I'm a poor diba? boy. Nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. <laughs> I'm sweating and going buang. Oi, borta naman. So ito yung proseso, ako yung tagahawak ng photo camera, siya yung tagahawak ng video camera, mag-mix and match kami, photos, videos, b-roll, drone. So that's the proseso, let's do it to it. Cinematic sequence in three, two, one. Oh yeah, I got mine in slow motion too. Hey. Oh, Whoa, that's nice. The same Ganda.
one, place one, outfit one, taposna, and now we're gonna move on to the next one. <laughs> Great, for those who made it to the middle part of the video, today's giveaway is we got luggage from Urban Luggage. This is brand new. Kaya lahat ng mga tags, plastic, all that stuff's on there. Pero alam mo, pinoy ko hindi ako magtatanggal ng plastic. It's gonna be there forever. So yan, follow me on Instagram. Leave a like on my latest photo. And comment with this emoji. And uh, we'll give this to one of you guys. Actually, we have a few. I think we have three of them. Shout out to Urban Luggage. That is now the suitcase that I use. Back to the biju. So that's what our cinematics look like in the edit. Pero ito ang katotohanan, what our cinematics look like in real life. Palaging di gumagana ang drono. Let's see if we fixed it. Gimbal clamp has been moved. Gimbal motor load too large? Always gimbal motor gimbal overload. Has been removed. Gimbal motor load large again. Chaka 30 minutos lang ang sunlight, always during golden hour. Gimbal is restarting? What are you talking about? Dude, these things always... This is what vlog life really is. At sa na ng lahat, palaging may lamok. Mosquitoes, I'm just trying to fix this machine and the mosquitoes. Mosquitoes mo ka, give me yun. Tapos nang buha yung lamok, pre. At yung babae, wala silang pakialam. Palagi silang nagtitiktok sa likod sa sariling mundo. And then look down. Oh, look up again. Tapos may pa look down, look up, look down. Minsan di man kagamiti ni Daniel tong mga shots na to. Feeling ko lang pinagtitripan niya lang ako eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buong kadiha. Did you miss me, bro? You can do it, bro. Just don't hurt yourself. Ayan, pinagjigymnastics na ako. Galing eh. Pinaglulungdag. Cool. At pinapalabi-dabi. Okay, cutesy wootsy, love you, Davi. Ayan, cutesy wootsy. <laughs> love you, Davi. Tapos yung totoong sound, mali yung colors. <laughs> Bakit me? Bakit neon? Ayan, I can't even get a break from Joa, kasi mali na naman yung sinot ko eh. Mali yung kulay, dapat kami magmatching. Matching? Matching? <laughs> Alam mo na baby ko, di ako pasyonista. But your image is uh, like action towards the camera, right? Like okay, so like... lulus yung tato sa'yo. Okay, yeah, yeah, just go like boom towards the camera. Go, go, go. One, two, three. What? Oh my God, ingat, ingat ka bata. Ingat, ingat. Okay lang ako. Laro ko to nung elemental. Just that bloody phone. You Creator's block. Uh, storyteller's worst nightmare. You see how easy it seemed for Daniel to do those shots and put them all together and everything. Well, it's not always easy. And that day on my birthday in 2020, when I was all alone to do the cinematics by myself, I was struggling so much trying to figure out how he does everything so effortlessly. I had a severe case of creator's block, which is the first time I had it in years. And this is basically like the mental version of running 100 miles until you can't feel your legs anymore. But it's like thinking until you can't process thoughts anymore and you hit this weird emotion like a brick wall. 
feeling lost, empty, frustrated, confused, and no matter how hard you think, nothing meaningful or of sense comes out. You have these thoughts in your head like a big bowl of tangled spaghetti, and you can't straighten them out. Like the harder you pull, mas nagiging buhul buhul. No pun intended. Dito na tayo sa buhul. It's safe to say Creator's Block is partly what took Daniel out for almost a year. Of course, there's more to the story, personal stuff, but ultimately, that's not my story to tell. It is his, which would be most impactful, done in a long format, raw and deep discussion, aka the podcast. Link below, check it out soon. But yeah, the following sequence is one to two minutes of a 25 minute docu type vlog I did about Daniel and the uniqueness of his storytelling and craft. And it sucks because I might never air that video since it's dated and times have changed and signing effort, but ganun lang talaga. But this video I did was to give insight on the mental struggle of being a content creator, the underrated and spectacular talent of Daniel Marsh with a little backstory to his life. And essentially it was my way of trying to get him to come out from whatever dark cave he was in at the time because it was at this time we hadn't heard from him. It was my attempt at communicating to him through video and being the spark of inspiration that he needed. And then at the end of the video, I revealed my cinematic effort in using everything I had ever learned from Daniel throughout the years to create something in his spirit, just like he would with his style of filmography. I even use his voice, which I got from sifting through hundreds of his old videos to really bring out the true essence of the Mr. Marsh super trailer. Now, many of you already saw a piece of this in one of my older vlogs as I teased it at the end of my video, but this is the more complete version, and I don't know if Daniel ever saw it, so I'm gonna show it again. And hey, comment below after watching this if you still wanna see this docu-type video I did, even if it's outdated, but I still believe it has meaning to it, but uh, I'll see what you guys say. Here it is. When it comes to filmmaking, Mr. Marsh has easily been the greatest influence on my cinematography, and he's also taught me a lot in the realm of storytelling over the past five years. I've always respected his craft and what he does, but to really understand the grit that one goes through requires you to do it yourself. Damn, look at that hard work. <laughs> that is hard work. No, I went bro. swimming, Kanina. Diba? Yeah, Love right. the beach, bro. The beach is cool. Philosophical catalogue. Because I realize he was my crutch in all of these travel vlogs over the years and. Say hello to the camera, wave to the camera, smile. Did you miss me, bro? It was a privilege to have him around. I'm gonna use that, that's perfect. <laughs> no matter how dim it may be at times, passion is always there. Sometimes it just needs to be ignited. Daniel Marsh. Okay, one step forward. Wag ang gagalaw. You know, it's it's hard for me to convey emotions. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Are you surprised? Man? I'm so surprised. <laughs> uh, likewise to yourself, but we're better at expressing ourselves through film. So this is a collaborative effort. When me and Daniel do the cinematics, it's you have to have the idea and our ideas mesh together. And in short, you're a huge inspiration to not just me, but uh, this entire platform anyone who's come across your work. What I can say is try to make a difference in the world in whatever little way you can, and do it in honor of the people that you've learned from, from the past. I know the flame is in there, my friend. Just dig deep and find it. All this advice I'm giving, it came from you. And part of wisdom is taking your own advice. And like you've said many times before, we all have our mountains to climb, but climb them we shall. What's up, Manga Chang, Manga Chang? Daniel Marsh here, taking over Will's superpowers. And uh, you gotta subscribe to my channel because I am awesome and I've got cinematic content. I am such a good friend to Will and I'm like his brother. Get it. 
the way I like to see it is you feel a certain way, you have an emotion, so you have to portray it through the lens, through the edit, as efficiently as possible to the viewer. So that means you have to be very empathetic in the situation that you're at. If you feel sadness, if you feel love, if you feel happiness, if you feel adventure, and you really feel those emotions when you're on the site, where you're shooting. So that's the feeling right there. Strive to be better, and you'll get better. You know, a lot of people forget in life to love each other, and we have abundance of it, don't we? A lot of people are inspired by that, and they're inspired by this, by, the, by how tough we are, and we still love each other through it all. That's good. So you control your mind, control your actions, and understand you go through it, and you get better with anything as it progresses, like a fine wine. Putting things into perspective is good, but then also courage. You know, uh, you have to be courageous in life because it's not always easy. You know, everything isn't always uh, butterflies and, and, and sunshine, right? Sometimes you have to be courageous, and you just have to fight right through it because that's part of living. That's part of growing, and embrace it. You might have fear if you're going to try something new, um, but you got to embrace that fear because courage is embracing the fear and fighting through it whilst acknowledging it, right? Don't quote me on that. That's just my perspective of it, anyway. But again, you know, you look to the past with respect and, and learn from it and, and, and acknowledge it and, and, and love it. And you look to the future with hope as well because we can't always look in the past. <laughs> What I can say is try to make a difference in the world in whatever little way you can and do it in honor of the people that you've learned from, from the past.